Hello and welcome aboard the North Sea Giant, one of the world's largest and most advanced vessels of its kind. My name is Frederick and I will be right here with you during the dive today. There's a camera on your helmet, so I will see what you see every step of the way. Okay, all clear here. When you're ready, just press the button on your control panel to begin your descent. Press the button on your control panel to begin your descent. Okay, we've started the descent. Below you is the Asgard field, where we've been producing oil and gas since 1999. You will be descending to nearly 300 meters below sea level, where we've set up one of the world's leading subsea technologies, the Asgard Subsea Compression Station. In 1985, one engineer made a quick sketch of a subsea compressor on a napkin. After many years of research and development, that idea has now become a reality. The Osgard Subsea Compression Station is the world's first and represents a technological leap forward. By the way, you have a depth gauge on your wrist that also tells you how much oxygen you have left. You have about seven minutes before you have to resurface. Anyway, the idea seemed daunting and ambitious to most, but at Statoil we're not intimidated by bold ideas. As you probably understand, it requires a great deal of innovation and creative thinking to set up an unmanned gas installation 300 meters under the sea. It's been a very dedicated and competent project team, with massive support from experts in all our disciplines to overcome the obstacles. After nearly 15 years of continuous development and rigorous testing, the installation was lowered to the seabed in 2015 and became the world's first of its kind. It's one of the most demanding technology projects we've ever implemented, and it's now been proven that it pays to believe in big ideas. Even after such a short operating time, it's amazing how much added value and increased income the installation has generated. In the first year alone, the installation made more than 5 billion Norwegian kroner in added value to the Midgard and Mikkel gas production, and we stand to exceed 10 to 12 billion Norwegian kroner in 2017. It's estimated that the installation will help us extract 306 million additional barrels of oil equivalent, which otherwise would have been left in the ground. That's enough to cover the energy needs of all homes in the UK for an entire year. Let's see how it works. The compressors add artificial lift to the well stream and make it possible to extract significantly more volumes by lowering the wellhead pressure. The well stream entering the compression station is metered and chilled in an inlet cooler before it flows into a scrubber where gas and liquids are separated. The gas is then compressed by a ratio of 2 to 2.5 before it's cooled in the discharge cooler and mixed back with a liquid that has been boosted through a pump. Finally, the multi-phase mixture is transported to the Asgard B platform on the surface, approximately 40 kilometers away, through two 20-inch flow lines. In addition to process modules such as coolers, separators, compressors and pumps, the installation is equipped with an advanced control system that allows us to accurately measure and control the entire process from the surface by means of more than 50,000 in-out signals. Since everything takes place on the seafloor, and thus closer to the reservoirs, the entire compression process is energy efficient. We can produce larger volumes, and compared with compressors on the surface, we're able to considerably reduce our CO2 emissions. But enough talk, we're approaching the seabed. The door of the safety cage will open once you're all the way down, and then you can move around freely and take a look at the installation at close range. The water fan you have in your left hand will help you to move around. All you need to do is point the laser in the direction you want to move and squeeze the trigger.
Around the compressor, you will see luminous hologram points. Move towards them to learn more about the installation. The processing conditions are very good for a compression station located at the seabed. Since the temperature here always varies around 7 degrees Celsius, the compressor has access to stable, natural cooling. Kind of like how people in the old days used to keep their milk in cool streams to keep it cold. Also, there's no UV radiation or ozone that might damage soft materials. Watch your oxygen level. You're starting to run out of time. I'm sorry, but we have to bring you back up now. I hope you're impressed by everything the underwater technology has to offer. As we see it, this is just the beginning. Moving activities to the ocean floor is one of the most exciting opportunities for the future. Thank you.